Hi, I'm Anthony Vincent. I'm here with Swords Cut Professional. Hey, I'm Hannah. I'm a yoga teacher with Yoga Works, and I'm here to share some tools to support hairdressers like Anthony to feel really good in their body. So I don't know about any of you at home, but I know when I get home from a long day at the salon, my legs do not feel a part of my body. So, Hannah, do you have any tips or tricks to help me with leg pain, please? Yes, yes. And you'll just step one foot forward, take the other foot back, and then to open up through the back calf, you're gonna press the heel down and then raise it up. Maybe on the third or fourth time, you let the heel drop, you lean into it a little bit longer. Yeah, <laughs> so activating through the calf, and just do that a few times, raising and lowering the heel. And then from here, to open up your hamstrings, right, the back of your thigh, start to straighten your front leg and send your hips away from your chest so you're long in your spine. Cool, so you know, never wanting to go into a stretch that you feel like your body tenses and resisting, resists against. Okay. Looking for that kind of middle path. And you'll just again stay for like five deep breaths, like in through the nose and then out the nose or out the mouth, whatever feels more relaxing for you. And then again, if you wanted to get into your front calf, you're gonna pick your toes up, pull them back, and just give another couple breaths there, making sure that you're not pushing back on the kneecap and locking out the joint. You know, wheelies, lifting the ball of the foot. Mm -hmm. And just notice what that does to it, right? Because we have connective tissue that starts at the base of our foot, runs up the back of the leg and the back of the spine. So now we're looking at this whole kind of posterior chain uh, lengthening. We're now getting into the front of the thigh and the hip flexor is a quad stretch. You'll bend one knee, bring the heel towards your sit bone, and then just use your hand to hold your foot and think about lifting the front of the pelvis up so that it doesn't turn into a back bend here. And that's gonna help to lengthen the connective tissue that runs up the front of the hip. How does that feel? Good. Feel a little release across the front of the thigh and hip? Yeah, definitely the thigh and I feel the hip as well. It's also good too with balance, right? Yeah, oh like, totally. Yeah. And bring a hand to a chair. You're gonna root down through one foot, feel yourself grounded in it. Take your opposite leg and cross your ankle over your thigh, sending your hips back. Now, I like to put one hand on the inner leg, the other arm on something to balance. And when you're staying in this, we're really looking to stretch around the outer hips and then shift your hips back in space as if you were sitting into like a preschooler chair, getting nice and low. <laughs> yeah? or counter step your legs back and as you walk the legs back you're looking to kind of find where your hips are above your heels right so a little bit more weight into your heels so opening through the shoulder lengthening through the spine lengthening through the back of the legs and you know it's such a nice one to weave into your day a couple times just to bring you a little bit more length to your back and your legs And then one more to do without a chair is just to step, wide stance, turn your toes out, bend your knees and take your hands to your thighs. And just add a little twist into it, rotating one shoulder down and then the other shoulder down, opening up through the inner thighs. Yeah. Do you look at all like over the shoulders or can you just pretty much look straight? There's not a real precise thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. I say move intuitively because usually if your head wants to move one way, mm -hmm. it's probably because that's better for your neck. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching these videos. I hope the tools help you feel good in your body. For more, subscribe to Swartzcraft Professionals' YouTube channel to sustain your career but also help your body.